so write this question up with the values so we are moving on to the problem solving of life of reservoir okay so this video is the follow up of theory video of life of reservoir my last video so please do watch that video before coming into problem solving okay so we have a table here and we have some values and a set of questions with a table given in the question okay so we'll start with the given values first one is initial capacity of reservoir initial capacity of reservoir is given as 30 million n cubes so million is 10 raised to 6 30 million m cube annual flood inflow is given as 60 million m cube 60 million so inflow is two times that of capacity initial capacity of reservoir that was a hundred percentage of capacity of reservoir when it was started okay started storing water and you have one more thing average annual sediment inflow very important information average annual sediment inflow how much sediment is coming in with the water inside okay so that is given as 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 kilo newton okay and your initial capacity of reservoir and annual inflow is given in volume m cubes okay but we are given annual sediment inflow as kilo newton as weight so you have to convert it into volume to compare this with inflow sediment inflow okay so for that conversion we have another point we have unit weight as 12 kilo newton per annum meter cube okay so by dividing it annual sediment inflow 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 12 that is 0.3 into 10 raised to 6 n cube okay so we have made three of the units equal m cube m cube n cube million million n cube million n cube okay so now we can start the problem so sediment inflow now is 0.3 million m cube okay so before starting problem and the main point is you have to before starting the real tabular formation you have to decide on interval of percentage as you know as i said in the last class the lifetime is addressed when 100 percentage 100 percentage capacity is 30 million m cube capacity when it is reduced to 20 percentage of 30 million capacity million m cube capacity okay so this the time period between this 100 percent 20 percent is the life of reservoir okay i said it already and for this you will be taking one interval of volume Okay, so for accurate measurements, you can pick 10% each, 10% 90, 80, 70, 60, etc. For the time being, I am taking 20%. So that in the first interval, it will be 100, 80, 60, 40, and 20 okay so 100 percent at the initial 80 percentage as it is 20 we have chosen 20 percentage in the interval is 20 percentage 80 percentage 60 percentage 40 percentage and then 20 percentage at the end point okay so corresponding to that percentage we will be writing volume of capacity in million mq that is 100 percentage is 30 30 million m cube, million m cube is at the top, so, need, so no need to write with everything. 
30 millilitre cube and 80 percentage will be 24 millilitre cube okay 13 to 0.3 13 to 0.8 then you will get 24 percentage 80 percentage of 30 initial capacity and 60 percentage of 30 that is 30 into 0.6 that is 18 million cube and 40 percentage 30 into 0.4 that is 12 per million cube and last one 6 million cube okay so we consider that this this particular server as that when it reaches initial when it reaches the volume of capacity as 6 million cube from 30 million cube okay that is our theory that is our understanding initially the capacity is 30 million cube 100 percent 30 million cube we are calculating when it will be reaching 6 million cube by sedimentation only sedimentation only goes sedimentation when it reaches 6 million cube capacity we consider this is over as useless or dead okay and we will calculate the time of becoming that okay. so moving on we have calculated calculated volume in million cubes and the next one capacity by inflow ratio as by definition just calculate capacity by inflow ratio what is capacity by inflow ratio at 100 percent for each line okay. for 100 capacity by inflow ratio is 30 divided by inflow is 60 0.5 okay capacity is 30 in this when it is 100 percentage inflow is always same every year inflow is 60 percent there will be slight variation variations we are neglecting that so inflow is always constants as 60 million cube so capacity by inflow is 0.5 and next one 24 by 60 that is 0.4 18 by 60 that is 0.3 12 by 60 that is 0.2 and at last 6 by 60.1 okay so we are just calculating capacity by inflow ratio for each rows next one from the given table from the given table itself in the question you find the corresponding value of trap efficiency of each capacity inflow curve and write corresponding to each values okay so so for 0.5 it is 0.96 is that is 96 percentage so we will fractionalize it and 96.96 and 0 0.4 0 0.955 0 0.3 0 0.95 0.2 0 0.93 and at last 0 0.1 0 0.87 ok so this much is simple you take the percentage interval according to in a chosen interval 20 percentage we take values till 20 calculate the volume by that volume we write capacity inflow ratio from that from the given table we take out trap efficiency corresponding to capacity and flow ratio and from next point onwards we are taking one intervals at a time okay, these intervals are we considering right now we are we are considering all the single rows from now on we will be taking intervals like this okay so right now we are considering on when the 100 percentage was reduced to 80 percentage that is when 30 percent 30 million mq was raised to 24 million mq we are considering average trap efficiency average trap efficiency is 
take the average of these two values that's it okay so take the values of these two values that will give you 0 0.9 5 7 5 okay just take the average of these two values 0.96 plus 0.955 divided by 2 so this gives the average trap efficiency between this time period where it reduced from 30 to 24 million entries okay okay and then you are moving on the next column annual sediment trap annual sediment trap will be calculated by the trap efficiency multiplied with 0.3 into mill ton raised to 6 mq okay so what is this 95 7.9575 that means from the 100 percent of sediment inflow that is 0.3 million mq out of this 0.3 million mq 95.75 percentage was trapped inside of reservoir that was stored inside okay and the rest was flowed out so the amount stored in or trapped in the reservoir is this trap efficiency this value multiplied with 0.3 Okay, and that value is 0 0.2872. So 0 0.2872 million mq because 0 0.3 million mq is the one we multiplied with 95.75 percentage. Okay. Please pay attention. 0.2872 million m cube of sediment trapped inside the reservoir every year. Okay, every year, every year in the reservoir, 0.2872 million m cube sediment is getting trapped inside the reservoir. So, how much years will it take to? reach this initial reservoir capacity till 24 million in Q. How much will be that? This is sim very simple mathematics, very simple point. You don't have to uh, by heart it, just understand the situation or the concept. Okay. So what is the difference between 30 and 20, 24? That is 6 million in Q. Okay. So that is the difference of volume, decrease of volume by which that decrease was caused by this yearly deposition of sediment. Okay, so calculate the difference between these two volumes that will be same for each percentage, each intervals, and that is 6 million mq. And from that 6 million mq, we will calculate years to fill as 6 divided by 0 0.2872 10 raised to 6 10 raised to 6 will be cancelled off denominator and numerate so 6 million m cube was the decrease of volume and every year there was deposition of 0 0.2872 million m cube so the years to fill was 6 divided by 0.287 the answer is 20.9 years ok I think you got it you calculated the average trap efficiency and multiplied with average annual sediment inflow 0.3 to get yearly deposition of sediments in the reservoir you got that as 2872 and you divided 2872 keeping volume that was deposited to decrease till 80% that is 24 that is 30 minus 24 
six million m cube divided by 0.2872 million m cube. So in 20.9 years, 30 million m cube became 24 million m cube. That is the inference. In 20.9 years, 30 became 24. Okay. So then we will continue solving all the all the other intervals like this. Take average. Average will be 0 0.9. 525 and multiply it with 0 0.3 again 0 0.3 into 10 raised to 6 or 0.3 that is 0 0.2857 and then again you divide 6, 6 is again always 6 will be the difference 24 minus 18, 18 minus 12, 12 minus 6 6 divided by 0.2857 that is equal to 21 years ok so similarly you complete the rest ok so there is 4 values 20.9 years to get the volume till 24 21 years when it reached 18 million cube 21.3 years when it reached 18 to 12 million cube and 22.2 years to reach 6 from 12 million cube ok so next and last step you just have to calculate the sum of all these years ok 20.9 plus 21 plus 21.3 plus 22.2 from to reach 100 to 20 you took 85.4 years ok so that is the answer of life of reservoir the life of reservoir is 85.4 years ok so another point to tell to note for you to solve other problems are sometimes you will have to change units sometimes you will be asked to uh, give the unit as instead of million m cube you will be given as hectare meter so hectare meter is also a volume unit that we use for large values so you just have to place that hectare meter value instead of million m cube that's just the difference okay so everything else is pretty same you follow the rules you take trap efficiency and follow by one row at a time one interval at a time and take the sum of all years okay so i hope you understand it, it is the most and one of the most important calculations in water resource engineering and I hope you understood it in case of doubt please ask okay thank you to try to do this problem same procedure take note of unit and values